But when we look at the prophecies of Jesus that were written far beyond he was even born, for any of them to come to reality is a miracle, but to say over 300, let me give you a few of them. The Old Testament to the New Testament fulfillment, the Messiah would be born in Bethlehem. He would be born of a virgin. He would come from the line of Abraham. He would be a descendant of Isaac. He would be a descendant of Jacob. He would come from the tribe of Judah. He would be an heir to King David's throne. He would be called Emmanuel. A messenger would prepare a way for the Messiah. The Messiah would be rejected by his own people. The Messiah would be a prophet. The Messiah was preceded by Elijah. The the Messiah would be declared the son of God, that he would be called a national that he would bring light to Galilee, that he would be spoken in in parables, that he would be sent to heal the brokenhearted, that he would be a priest after the order of Melchizedek, that he would be called king, that he would enter Jerusalem on a donkey, that he would be praised by little children, that he would be betrayed, that he would be falsely accused, that he would be silent before his accusers, that he would be spat upon and and struck, that he would be hated without a cause, that he would be crucified with criminals, that he would be given vinegar to drink, that his hands and his feet would be pierced, that he would be mocked and he would be ridiculed. He would get, uh, soldiers would gamble for his garments. His bones wouldn't, would not be broken, that he would be forsaken by God, that the Messiah would pray for his enemies, that the soldiers would pierce the Messiah's side, that he would be buried with the rich that he would resurrect from the dead, that he would ascend into heaven, that he would be seated on God's right hand, and that he would be a sacrifice for sin. And this is the one that has not yet happened, but will happen. The Messiah will return for a second time. Man, and that's not even all 300. 